Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Reviews and Help. And today I'm going to show you how to make a slideshow in Windows 8. And this should work in before and after Windows. But the reason why I'm making this is a viewer of mine in a Windows 8 tutorial asked me how did they make a slideshow, at least from how they phrased it. I'm assuming that they're talking about slideshows and there is several methods so bear with me uh, uh one thing to note is not all the methods are 100 reliable so i'm not going to fool you on that but um it, it, some of the methods require you to make an actual video itself and um the ones that doesn't is not 100 reliable now first two i'm going to talk about the rest i'm going to show first one is in most likely if you if you bought your computer from a major franchise HP Dell or whatever they have their own software to do the slideshows this means that you can actually use their software and I highly suggest that because it tends to be better than anything else and uh, as far as as far as the vanilla Windows experience and um, that's just something to note but if you did not buy your computer from a major franchise or you don't like the use in their software, don't worry. The other way is is by PowerPoint, which again I don't really suggest because again you're making a um, an actual separate file, like an actual PowerPoint. So that's that's not a solution. I mean, a lot of people don't know how to do it, and I'm not going to get into how to make a PowerPoint this time. The other way, the third method, and this is the vanilla Windows 8 experience. And this is not reliable 100% of the time, but you don't have to make anything. You don't have to make a video, you don't have to make a PowerPoint. You just do it. Again, it's not 100% reliable, but what you need to do is highlight whatever pictures and videos you want. As you see, I got two videos and a couple pictures and right click the video do not right click the pictures because you don't get the same options right click the videos and let's add to one is let's look at what it said add to the uh windows media player playlist now this again does not work 100 percent time so bear with me and it looks like it pulled up this video but it's taking a long time to process it let's pull that back and as you see here they're right here but um yeah it's let's see here it's it's just not doing right so you might have to do that you might have to go to the side right here and mess around with that and you can reorder all these so as you saw here these were right next to each other as you saw right here and all this stuff was on other places so that's just something to keep in mind you can you can go ahead and um, do that and if you want you just look at the playlist like that so it, it starts working so let's go to the next method in case that didn't work because you can do it at least eight times in a row which i've tried to record eight times in a row and didn't work so i know for experience and recent experience that that doesn't work always so the next method is making a video of the slideshow so let's uh let's take this throw it side to my second monitor and just move what we were making a playlist before over and wait a second now with this you have your videos your your uh, pictures and whatnot in the same order you can rearrange them if you want it, it doesn't matter so here it is let's try to move that and as you see here you can move it around it'll even give you an icon and say move so you can move it around 
you can cut the video to make it shorter you can mess with the audio which is a pain in the in the actual software and I highly advise just don't do that but um as far as everything else this should work given that you're okay with making a separate video of the slideshow and keep in mind if you want to make a longer slideshow you can actually take a video from a previous slideshow upload it and add some more pictures and whatnot and there you go and obviously you can delete the old video at any time now the last method deals with picasso the free software and I um, am not going to recommend it to everyone because I've had mixed results with it but it's a free software it saves all your photos to a Google Cloud which is now Google Plus and um, it works but the same way as one of those movie maker works so basically what you do is you click this create movie presentation it automatically uploads this and as you see here we just got a bunch of pictures and whatnot you can mess with that click on movie mess with the size and that way you can get a resolution and just press create movie and once you do it automatically starts making it so that's something to keep in mind and by the way for this method to make the movie you just press save mo save movie for computer and you just mess with the settings and whatnot and just press save it's it's a pretty simple process again one of the methods I showed you don't have to make anything you just go straight vanilla and just upload it it's not 100% reliable even if you after you upload a playlist but it works but the other methods require you to actually go out of your way and make a video and that may be better depending on who you are anyways this has been craig bennett the founder and owner of tech views and help and if you got any questions please feel free to visit the site and email me also email me on youtube or leave a comment below have a great day